Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a problem from one of my subscribers and he has a problem. A man is diagnosed with recessive um, genetic disorder. His father's sister and mother's brother uh, marry and have a son. His cousin, uh, what is the best estimate of the risk of his cousin developing the same disorder? So I recommend uh, to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, we know that a man di diagnosed with recessive genetic disorder, so what it does tell us that genotype of this man would be small a, small a. If we would use uh, for dominant uh, allele for normal trait capital A and uh, for uh, recessive allele small a and this person is affected so uh, what we also know his father sister of course this person here has a mother and a father what we can tell about his mother and father the genotype of uh, his parents have to be a capital A and small a in order for this person uh, to be uh, homozygous recessive. Uh, his parents have to be carriers. Because this is recessive genetic disorder, uh, carriers wouldn't express this genetic disorder. So would have normal phenotype. So his father sister so his father sister his father has a sister and his mother brother so his mother has a brother um, have a son so I would use a new color here to connect these two people and they have a son And we have to find the risk for the son uh, also to be affected, so to have genotype small a, small a. We also have to add here grandparents, so this is going to be uh, one grandparent, second, and we have to add uh, grandparents here. So now we have everything in order to solve this problem. If uh, this parents has uh, one child that we know is heterozygous, that means that one of this person also uh, have to have this recessive allele. So let's say that uh, father would be heterozygous. Why I am using this notation here uh, because uh, nothing is said that anyone else in the family uh, of the mother of this person is affected. So mother have to get this recessive allele from one of the parents and uh, because we have to assume that this is a rare genetic disorder we uh, have to assume that only one of the parents would be a carrier not both of them. So, uh, the same is true for the father of our affected person. So, his father, uh, because he is obligate carrier, also have to get one recessive allele from one of his parents. So, let's uh, this time assume that uh, his mother uh, was a carrier. So, genotype was capital A, small a. And father was uh, phenotypically and genotypically normal. So what is the probability for sister of the father of this person to be also carrier? Uh, we know that uh, she phenotypically normal because nothing has said that she is affected. So we have to find probability for her to be capital A small a only in this case uh, this female 
can give recessive allele, uh, one recessive allele to her son. And what is the probability would be? It is very easy to find. Uh, her father is homozygous dominant and mother we suggest is heterozygous. So capital A small a and this is your mother and this is father side and when we build a Punnett square we can see all the probabilities for the children to be a carrier. So none of the children would be affected but as you see according to this Punnett square 50% of the progeny would be carriers. So probability for uh, this person to be a carrier would be one half. And the same probability for this person also to be a carrier and this probability also one half uh, because uh, one of the parents would be homozygous dominant and another parent would be heterozygous. Those uh, this time uh, we would have different signs here but sex is not uh, important here because this is uh, not a sex link genetic disorder. So this is autosomal recessive genetic disorder. So now we know the probability for parents of this person to be uh, carriers and now we have to find probability uh, if two parents would be carriers or if the genotype would be capital A small a uh, to have affected child. So mother of the child is carrier, father of the child is a carrier and when we build a Punnett square as you see we can find probability for the progeny to be uh, phenotypically normal, uh, to be a carrier or to be affected. And as you see probability would be one quarter to be affected. So probability of the mother uh, to be a carrier one half, probability of the father to be a carrier also one half, and probability for them to have affected child would be one quarter. So uh, we have three independent probabilities here. So we have to use the product rule. And if we multiply one half by one half, we are going to get one fourth. And multiplied by one fourth, uh, we are going to get an answer one over sixteen. And this is going to be our answer today. Our proband uh, would have probability to be affected and probability would be 1 over 16. If you need an answer in percentage form you have to divide 1 by 16 and multiply by 100 and you are going to get an answer in percentage form. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video, goodbye.